Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Simply Christelle. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my Sephora VIB holiday sale recommendation for this year of 2022. So if you would like to see my recommendations, then just keep watching. And also, if you are not already subscribed, please press the subscribe button down below. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get into my recommendations. So I decided to create like on my phone a bunch of products that I have from Sephora that I've tried and I really, really love and I really want to share them with you guys and I would recommend picking these up during the sale. These are products that I talk about on my channel a lot. These are products that I use all the time. So it's not a big, big list because I really wanted to like specifically like choose one or two in every category just so I'm not like, you know, just dumping too much on you guys. Let's just start out with foundation. So a foundation that I talk about on my channel all the time and that I use almost every single time I do my makeup is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I love this foundation so much. I'm actually almost out of it. I need to go get another one because that's how much I use it on my skin, on my face all the time. I've talked time and time and time over about this foundation. I love it so much. And it's definitely like my number one foundation at the moment. I can see that I actually am shocked that I really, really, really love is the Sephora brand, the best skin concealer. I didn't even think I would love this concealer as much when I bought it, but I've been using this concealer a lot. And it's the concealer I'm actually wearing today underneath my eyes and on like, like my T-zone area. And it's just such a really, really beautiful, pretty concealer. And it just... The blendability of it and the way it blends underneath your eyes, it's just such a great formula and it looks flawless and looks just beautiful. A very, very beautiful concealer and I believe it runs for $14. So I definitely would recommend picking up that concealer. It's better than some of the high-end concealers that are out there for like $29, $30. This one's $14 and they have a variety of shades and it's just an amazing concealer. I have two powders that I definitely would recommend picking up during this sale. The first one is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Setting Powder. I love that powder. It is a pretty penny. It is costly, but that powder is one of the best setting powders I've ever used. And it's not it's not an under eye setting powder, it's like a whole face setting powder. And I use the shade 4, which is the darkest one, which I always say it needs to be darker. They need to make darker shades for darker skin tones in that setting powder. But I love to use it as, obviously like what it is, it's an all over face setting powder. I just feel like it's one of the best setting powders I've ever used. And I feel like when I use it on my foundation, my makeup does not like slip away. It's not um, transferring as much. It really is like one of the best setting powders ever that I've ever used. The next powder that I am going to talk about is a more so under eye setting powder. And that is the one sized beauty by patrick star loose setting powder i have not in a long time used like a loose setting powder especially in the shade translucent and it works for me the way that the patrick star one works for me i really 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 love that one it is such an amazing under eye setting powder i even think it's better than the laura mercier one i haven't used laura mercier in a while so i don't you know i can't maybe say that but just from my like memory I really think the Patrick Star one is better, but that should be a good video. That should be a wear test if I could try the two. But anyways, that powder, you guys, is amazing. The funny thing about that powder is like, I didn't think I would like it. I didn't even like, like, it didn't come to me like to get it. I think I got it like as a sample or something and I was in love with it. So I went and purchased like the little size, but I'm definitely, definitely purchasing the big size during the holiday sale because that powder is so amazing. Like it's a really, really, really good setting powder. It's so fine and it really just makes your under eyes so smooth and it's just, the finish of it is just so beautiful. It's so gorgeous. Like I really love that setting powder by Patrick Star. And the primer that I really, really, really recommend getting during the sale is the Rare Beauty primer, the um, pore one, the pore primer. Rare Beauty Pore Diffusing Primer. 
this primer is amazing it's a game changer I tend to use more so pore primers and more gripping primers because I do have more texture issues and I feel like those primers they just work better with my skin type I really do like this primer by Rare Beauty I think it there's something in it I don't know what it is but my makeup always looks so smooth and it helps my makeup not to like especially powders they don't sit on my skin they blend in very easily to my skin and I think it works very well with different um, formulas especially foundation formulas and that's the thing like there's some primers that you use that work with certain foundations but this rare beauty one I feel like every foundation I've used with it with it has worked very well so I think it's one of those like primers that you can use with everything that you have um, it just I haven't had the experience of it not working with any of my foundations in my collection and I really just love how my face looks my face looks very smooth very even um, with this primer to set all of that makeup that I'm going to put on my face, I love, 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 and I'm sure a lot of people do too, the Charlotte Tilbury Setting Mist, so amazing. And at first I was like, this is just like a money grab, it's so expensive to try to make money, but that setting spray is honestly one of the best setting sprays I've ever used. And it is a little pricey for a setting spray because like the full size is like $36 and like the little one, like this size, like $20. But there's something in that setting mist that just melts all your makeup and has your skin looking very soft and very smooth and just very even. And I don't know, there's just something in that setting mist, but I love that setting mist. I definitely recommend giving it a try. Even if you get the little mini size, just give it a try. See if you like it. Getting that one during the sale because that setting mist is amazing. And the bronzer I wanted to recommend for the sale is the Hula Toasted Bronzer by Benefit. This has to be like one of my top bronzers in my whole collection. I just love the color of it. I love the undertone to that bronzer because it's not super red. And I feel like a lot of companies, they miss the mark on making bronzers for deeper, darker skin. And they tend to make them run red. But that bronzer, that Hula Toasted Bronzer by Benefit has the perfect amount of warmth. And it's not too cool tone, it's not too red, it's just perfect and it goes so beautiful with my skin tone. If you're looking for a new bronzer at Sephora, I would definitely, hands down, go for that one by Benefit, the Hula Toasted Bronzer by Benefit. Like, that one is, I use that bronzer more than I use any other bronzer in my collection. I love that bronzer. And then a blush that I also recommend, this is more of a cream blush, and it's more of like a natural blush, but it is by Tower 28. It is the Beach Please blush, and the color is in Happy Hour. It's more of a pinky color. It's more of like a pinky, like melon color, but it looks really, really good on um, our, my skin tone or deeper. And it's a very, very beautiful blush. And I love the formula of the Tower 28 blushes. I actually want to pick up more of their blushes because I really love the creaminess of it. And even if it's a creamy, it's more like I don't know how to describe its texture. It's like a, um, it's more of like a balmy type of texture. It's creamy. It's a cream bronzer, but it's balmy. So when you put it, it's more, and you blend it in, it's, it looks more like this. Like you'll definitely get like more of a glow to it because it's not a matte blush. It's more of like a glowy, um, I guess like more satiny finished blush I don't know how to describe it but I really love that blush because it looks so natural and it looks so within to the skin and it blends into your skin just beautifully and Tower 28 is one of those brands like I feel like people talk about it but they don't talk about it that much but I think they are more so like no makeup makeup type of brand I want to try more of Tower 28 because they look like a really really good brand and I but that blush is definitely a beautiful blush and I would definitely recommend checking out that brand all the makeup that I have for recommendations for Sephora I actually have a lot of skincare because honestly I'm not gonna like lie to you guys that sale during that sale is when I pick up my skincare like I really stock up on my skincare because a lot of my skincare comes from Sephora and it's so pricey and I just take advantage of that sale and I really buy a lot of skincare first thing I want to mention is the Innisfree Clay Mask. Innis Am I saying the brand right? Innisfree? The Innisfree Pore Clay Mask, the Volcano one. 
such a great mask I use that mask every single week and it makes my skin feel so soft like that's what I love about it it, it makes my skin feel so soft and also like I remember like one day I used it and my skin was going through something it felt very textured it felt very dry it felt very tight and after I used it my skin looked soft the texture was definitely minimized and it felt so soft so I really stand by that mask because it is an amazing mask and it does wonderful wonderful things for the skin like I I don't have any other masks in my collection that I love more than that one like that one is an amazing mask speaking of Innisfree they also have a sunscreen which I discovered their sunscreen about a month ago I really like their sunscreen I'm not sure if it's a chemical sunscreen or a physical sunscreen because it does Cut, go onto the skin very sheer. I thought it was a mineral sunscreen, but I could be wrong But I just really really love the sunscreen and something I love more about the sunscreen is that it's only $15 Sunscreen is 1.69 fluid ounces. I have it right here and it's $15 $15 and honestly you guys using a sunscreen. It doesn't break me out. I haven't had any reaction to it. I haven't had anything like happen to my skin or anything like that. It's such a great sunscreen and I'm so happy I picked it up because I was paying so much for sunscreen before. I was paying like 30, 45, almost $60 for sunscreen. But this sunscreen, it does the job. It's very, very like on the lower end, you know, on Sephora in terms of price and it's amazing. And it's rating at the web Sephora website is almost five star and, and they have 1.3K like ratings people that rate review it so it's a really really great sunscreen and i definitely think it's worth the try if you're looking for a new sunscreen especially if you don't want one that has a white cast like this one does not leave a white cast it doesn't make my skin purple it doesn't do any of that and it's amazing and it's very gentle on the skin it hasn't broken me out hasn't given me any rashes it's been just really good on my skin a serum that I speak about my channel all the time, I talk about it all the time, is obviously the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum. I love that serum. I'm not even gonna go into detail about how great it is because I've spoken about this serum a bunch of times on my channel. I will continue to repurchase this serum as long as they continue making it. It is definitely a staple in my nighttime routine. There's something in that serum that just works so well on the skin and it does amazing things to the skin. So that is a lot of serum. That's all I have to say about it. I'm not gonna say anything no more because I've talked about it a lot and yeah, so, but that serum is amazing. Some exfoliators that I definitely recommend picking up that have helped my skin a lot and have changed my skin a lot. The first one is by Paula's Choice. It's the Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. I really have seen a difference in my skin when using this exfoliator. It's a liquid exfoliator, so what you do is like you put some on the pad or your, your hand and then you just kind of tap it into your um, face. I like to use it at nighttime before bed. It says you can use it in the daytime or you could use it every day. I don't use it every day because I don't want it to like hurt my, like to be too harsh on my skin. I like to use it maybe tw like once a week or twice a week, depending on how my skin is doing that week. But I really, really love it because you see a difference when you wake up. So when I, what I do is I'll put it onto my skin and then sometimes, depending on this, how bad like my skin is, I'll put serums and stuff on it. But if I really just want my skin to really exfoliate, I'll just use it. Like I'll wash my face and just use it and then put a little bit of moisturizer on it and then go to sleep. If I really want it to like really exfoliate the skin. And there's something about that's that exfoliator that is just something I don't know something just really great about it I don't know if it's a salicylic acid if it's I don't know what it what's you know like what it is in it but it's amazing it's really good and it's gentle enough for sensitive skin and also like something I really like with this I think I'm becoming more of a liquid exfoliator person because I have another liquid exfoliator I want to share with you guys but there's just something about you're going to sleep and knowing that the exfoliator is working overnight. I think that's what I really like about it is that I feel like I can just go to bed and I know that when I wake up in the morning, I'll wake up with like my skin looking very free. The other liquid exfoliator that I wanted to talk about is the Alpha H. It's the liquid gold exfoliating treatment with glycolic acid. Now I, the reason why I picked this up is because I love Sahari Karen. She was talking about it on her Instagram and I really wanted to try this and I'm not even making a lie, it's a little pricey. Like the little mini bottle that's one ounces is 22 bucks, which is pretty expensive. 
but there's something in that exfoliator that's just really really good at first i didn't see a difference like i'm not gonna lie to you guys i'm gonna be completely honest at first like the first two uses i was like okay what was happening but then something changed my skin was looking brighter it was looking more softer it was looking more plump it was looking healthier so this is not something you're gonna see results right away it's gonna take a couple of uses. Last exfoliator I wanted to mention is the Dermalogica exfoliator. It's the Daily Microfoliant. I like to use that one because I feel like it's not as abrasive as the Superfoliant. Um, they do have a more like abrasive one, the Superfoliant one, but the Microfoliant one is just enough exfoliation that I need because my skin from the other one like my skin was getting irritated so I do like to use that one rice based powder cleanser you just put in your hand and then you activate it with some water and then you just rub it and I actually learned a trick from Jackie and I, I don't rub it in my skin anymore I just kind of more so like pass it onto my skin because when I rub it it does irritate my skin more but this one is really good too I like to use this one especially when I do have that really bumpy texture issue because I feel like it's more abrasive than the liquid ones. Get rid of more so the texture that's on the um, the most outermost layer of my skin and it really does help with that. But that one I really, really love. It has helped a lot with my dark spots along my jawline. That's something that I had for years. Like I had a lot of dark spots on my jawline and that has helped a lot with that. And that exfoliator is, is still something, I've been using it for years now. I've been using it for a very long time and I really, really like that exfoliator and it's very very nice let's share with you guys a new staple that i have discovered that i use every single time to get my makeup and this is the clinique take the day away balm i didn't think i would like another face balm because i was using the pharmacy face balm years ago and then i heard it had plastic and that one honestly wasn't good for my skin every time i used it i always had like little breakouts so i stopped using that one and then i started using the inky list one the oat something it was so greasy and oily i didn't like the way it felt on my skin i felt like i was putting vaseline on my skin so then i discovered the clinique one and that one is perfect it is obviously oil based that's how it takes off your makeup and breaks apart your makeup but it does not leave my skin feeling greasy like i just used vaseline on it it just it takes away the makeup it leaves my skin soft and i can rinse it off and it's like gone and i love how easy it is to use i feel like you don't need a lot of it i just take a little bit of it and i start rubbing it into my face and it just takes off all the makeup and it leaves my skin so nice and so soft so if you're looking for like a new cleansing balm or to take anything to take off your makeup i would definitely recommend the clinique one and then obviously after i use that i go in with a cleanser so i double cleanse i don't just use the clinique one i do double cleanse to make sure to make sure that all the makeup is off now i have two fragrances to share with you guys that i'm definitely going to pick up during the sale as well and the first one is the ysl black opium perfume i love that one it smells so good it smells so freaking good like i really really like that one like i've become as i'm getting older i'm becoming more of a fragrance person i love fragrances i love to like smell them i love to try them i'm always getting fragrance samples from sephora especially when i do like my online orders i love them but that ysl one is amazing and it smells it's a class i feel like it's like been around for so long but i never like purchased it i never like i don't think i ever like really smelt it or used it until this year and i fell in love with it and then the other one i fell in love with is by replica and it's called autumn vibes that one is honestly one of my favorite just like the YSL one and the rep the autumn vibes one i love that one like it smells so clean and so fresh it's like very how do i say like woods <laughs> no it's not musky it's just i don't know guys how to describe it but i can read the notes i'll read the notes how about that the key notes are red berries cardamom cedarwood and moss so i just really love how earthy it is it's described as earthy and the fragrance family is like earthy and woody and i really really just love this perfume like it just it goes really well with my body chemistry and i think like i just me and the perfume just really click very well and i really love that perfume 
So those are my Sephora sale recommendations for this year of 2022. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. And if you guys have any recommendations that you would like to share out, please comment them down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're not already. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Bye.